Good morning. Good morning. morning. How are you? Good. Oh, that, that is, that's good. That was all kind of like in unison too. So we're going to read today. Um, Brooke, I remember your name. Brooke uh, just read for us uh, some stuff about doing good. We're going to read later um, here in just a minute some scriptures about Jesus talking about doing good. So let's think about good just for a second. Okay? What do you think are some of the good things that we can do? Let's just think of any, any kind of good thing. What do you think? What good thing can you do, Nicholas? All right, so if somebody doesn't have anybody to play with them, you can ask them if, if, you, if they can play with you. That's very good. That would be a very good thing to do. Good thinking. Very good. What do you think? That you appreciate the people who take care of you. That's a good thing, Ren. Thank you. That's a good suggestion. But it is a good thing we can do. What do you think? Okay, when someone's hurt, you can help them. Very good. Good thinking. What do you think? Yeah, the kids who are getting bullied in school. Okay. Who are getting picked on, ridiculed, just because they're weird getting picked on. They need a friend, you know. It's weird okay. to feel about that. Okay. All right, so you stand up for the people who are being picked on and stand against the bullies, right? Very good. Good suggestion. Good suggestion. I did that with my friend Abby. Do you? <laughs> it's good for you to have somebody to stand up for. That's a very good thing. Anybody else? Here's what I think. One of the ways we describe doing good is that we're filling people up instead of taking stuff from their lives or filling their life up. So you might um, fill them up with helping them by playing with them when no one else will, by standing up to the bullies, by telling them thank you, by helping somebody who is injured. Um, you could also fill somebody up by giving them a compliment. Instead of saying something bad about them, you say something good about them. Um, you could fill somebody up by giving them a word of encouragement. If they look like they're having a tough day and they're not smiling, maybe you can help bring a smile to their face, right? You can fill them up. One of the best things we can do for other people is fill them up. So I have a offering box. If you remember, uh, during this season, we have offering boxes. They happen to be shaped like fish. So, this is for the one great hour of sharing. We'll collect it on Easter Sunday. So if you would take this box home and fill it up with pennies and nickels and diamond and quarters, and then bring that back, we'll use it like uh, Mrs. Nerlene said, um, we'll use it to share to the One Great Hour Sharing and we'll help fill up other people's lives as well. So, a couple things. Fill this up with nickels, dimes, pennies, quarters, and also fill up other people's lives with good stuff, with support and good compliments. Um, Y'all want to take one of those and pass them down? Your mom and dad will think we're overloading because you, every you guys all have them. All right. All right. <coughs> okay. Let's pray and then we turn to our seats, okay? Thank you, God, for being with us every day. Thank you for filling us up with your Holy Spirit and your love. Help us to do that for other people, to fill them up with good compliments and support and encouragement. Help us to share what we have with those who don't. In Jesus' name we pray, amen.